everyone, welcome to CGK. Today we're going to learn how to play the card game Beast Count. Before we, before we learn how to play, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can learn a new card game every week. So to set up this card game, you're going to pass each player seven cards. Six, six, seven, seven. If you have multiple, you can, you can play with how many ever players you want. If you have four players or more, you're going to need two decks. So uh, you're past each player seven cards. The rest of the pile will be the draw pile. And then uh, when, when you separate the draw pile like this, you're going to uh, choose a card randomly. And this random card will be the number joker. So the number joker is, uh, so this number, it won't be counted as five points. It will be counted as zero points. And then uh, after you do that, you're just going to uh, put one card open. And this will be the open card for the first player. So basically, uh, the points are ace is just one point. The rest is face value. Jack, queen, and king are all 10 points. So this uh, five won't be five points. It'll be zero points. But let's say if you draw a... If you draw a... No you're going to need two jokers for this, like the normal jokers. Let's say if you draw a normal joker, then the joker can't be a joker, right? Because then there'll be only two jokers in the game. So if you draw a joker as the joker, then an ace will be, ace will be the number joker. So uh, now let's start playing. So uh, so uh, the object of the game is to lose all your high cards and uh, stay with the lowest amount of points as possible. When you have less than seven points, you will be able to show to win the game. And you'll see how that works when we get there. So uh, so these, this is the normal joker is zero points. So is five since it's a number joker for this round. Every round, there'll be a different number joker based on what you uh, draw rand what number joker you randomly choose randomly. So uh, ace is lowest and uh, jack queen king is highest, like I said. So the object of the game is to get rid of all your high cards. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna throw my queen since it's my highest card and then I have the option to take the card behind the queen as so I can take the nine or I can go through the draw pile. Nine is a very high card, so I'm gonna go into the draw pile. Oof, I got this card. Oh. Now he puts a nine. And since, uh, so when you play this game, you can put any card you want, but if you don't match it, you have to uh, take a card. So since he didn't match the nine with the queen, he has to take a card. Now it's my turn. I don't have a nine, so uh, I'm just gonna put this jack. I don't want the nine. Since I didn't match, I have to take a card. He got a nine, now he's gonna take a card. He didn't match. I'm gonna put this queen down, and then I'll take a card. And then none of us are matching for some reason. And then I'll put this down and take a card. Okay, and then, uh. Since I have a six, I can match his six, and now I do not have to take a card. And there's, now there's also another rule where if you have uh, three cards that make a sequence, which is a sequential order with the same suit, then you can put all three of them together. And since uh, this is a six, this is seven, eight, nine. He did not match the six with any of these cards. He has to draw a card. And you can also use jokers to make these sequences. Let's say he didn't have this eight and he only had the seven and nine. He could attach a joker and uh, call it a sequence. A sequence uh, has to be three cards or more, by the way. So now that he put a seven, eight, nine, I can put a seven, eight, or nine to match and not draw a card. But if I put anything that's not a seven, eight, or nine, I have to draw a card. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my sequence that I have, ace, two, three. So now uh, I'll put this sequence that I got and then I'll draw a card since it did not match. Now he puts a four and since four did not match, he has to draw a card, but he can draw any of these three since they're behind. He's just gonna draw the ace since that's the lowest card. Now, since he drew the ace I'm uh, and put a four, I can match this four with this four and not draw anything. He decides to put two twos and uh, take the four. So uh, he just put two twos, which is score four, and then he took a four. I don't know why he did that. But uh, so you can put uh, how many ever of the same number you want. I don't think I told you guys that yet. But if you have two queens, you can put both of them. If you have any uh, of the same rank, you can put them both. Uh, I'm going to put this eight 
and take the two. So now I have a lot lower points. Now, since I have lower than seven points, this is zero. So these are my points. And uh, by the way, ace is one. So since I have lower than seven points, I'm gonna say show. And you don't wanna show anybody your cards, okay? You're just gonna say show. So when you say show, that means you're letting everybody know that you have less than seven cards. Now everybody has the option to challenge. And you can only have the option to challenge if you have a value of less than seven. So, uh, so uh, it seems he does not have less than seven. He has more than seven. That means he cannot challenge. So uh, he would put his cards down and uh, we would calculate his score and his score would go on the scoreboard and I won, so I would get zero points. But let's say he did have less than seven. Let's say have, he had, uh, let's say he didn't have this card. Let's say he had uh, five points, right? Then he could choose to uh, challenge me. Challenge means he's challenging me that he has a lower, uh, l lower value than I have. So let's say if he challenges me, then I would show my cards. Whoever has the least amount would, uh, would be zero. So since he has five and I have three, then since I have three, three is lower. So uh, on the scoreboard, mine would be zero. And since he lost the challenge, he would be 30. If uh, the challenge is the same, let's say you didn't have these cards. Since we both have three, you can do two variations. The challenger would get 30 points since, because they're challenging to have lower. So since they have the same, the challenger would get 30 points or you can do 15 points each. And, uh, and uh, everybody would get scored and you would do like uh, first to 100. And if you get to 100, you would get eliminated. And the last person standing would win the game. That is how you play least count. I hope you like this game. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to learn uh, new card games every week. See you later. Bye.